Greetings to you all. Welcome back to another astrology video of mine. My name is uh, Sean Van De Veen, and I'm so glad you could uh, join me today. And uh, in this uh, video, I'm going to be talking about Aries rising. What it's like for uh, somebody to have been born with this uh, natal placement in their astrological chart. So first of all, what is a rising sign? What is an ascendant? Well, it uh, was the uh, zodiac sign that was uh, rising on the uh, eastern uh, horizon at the time of one's birth. It's a given. And uh, think of it as uh, the outer shell. Think of it as uh, the uh, projection uh, you um, exhibit to uh, the outside world. Um, in this case, with the uh, Aries, uh, you'll uh, have an individual who um, is very uh, confident, very strong, very uh, independent, very bold, and uh, someone who uh, comes across as uh, very courageous. Um, they can also be uh, somewhat uh, bossy and uh, arrogant, um, but uh, that's just the uh, outer uh, projection to the um, outside world. Um, it, the first house uh, also represents the uh, physical appearance of the native. So with uh, Aries on the uh, ascendant, um, they'll, they'll uh, often um, have uh, red hair. And um, they often like to uh, dress up in uh, clothing that uh, has a lot of red in, in um, their designs or uh, they love to wear red shirts, um, anything uh, that uh, really uh, strikes out to uh, other people. So um, I'll go through um, the uh, details of every single cusp. Now, it's interesting to note that uh, with Aries rising people, they will have uh, each of their uh, zodiac signs in their natural houses. So um, for example, um, Aries ru rules the first house, and uh, with Aries rising, Aries will be on the first house cusp, and Gemini rules the third house, and uh, Gemini will be on the third house cusp, and uh, with Leo, it'll be on the uh, fifth house, which uh, that sign also rules, and so forth. So, um, without further ado, I'll go through uh, the details of uh, each house of uh, the uh, Aries rising individual. So, um, with the uh, first house, um, as I've mentioned, uh, Aries uh, on the uh, first house cusp, these uh, individuals uh, will appear uh, very strong, uh, very uh, fit, physically fit, very uh, athletic, and uh, often at times they can uh, appear somewhat intimidating to other people. They can uh, have such a uh, strong gaze upon others that uh, many would find um, intimidating or uh, one uh, could assume that uh, in this uh, Aries Rising individual is uh, very strong, so don't mess with him or her. And um, Yes, they can appear quite uh, striking, yet they can uh, also uh, appear quite uh, attractive. Um, they um, often, like, they are often um, the center of attention. Um, they uh, like to uh, be at the uh, forefront of uh, discussions, of uh, group leadership, and... Um, they're the uh, first to uh, take on uh, challenging tasks. Now, I'll get into the uh, details of each uh, house cusp. Uh, with the uh, Taurus sitting on the uh, second house cusp, Aries rising people, you wouldn't expect them to uh, be uh, conservative and uh, cautious when it comes to financial matters. Um, however, when it comes to uh, their own uh, personal savings, uh, Aries rising people uh, are quite uh, cautious 
when it comes to uh, dealing with uh, financial uh, goals, uh, their personal savings, and uh, quite often they like to uh, save uh, vast amounts of money. They uh, like to uh, save up for uh, very uh, beautiful and fancy things, such as uh, a nice house, a fancy car, well, one that would be a very fast a sports car, uh, showing off the uh, Aries Rising uh, element. <laughs> and um, they um, like to uh, save money so much uh, that at times they uh, kind of forget to uh, share the wealth, which is uh, very important too. Um, they uh, have to uh, spend, learn to uh, spend money in order to uh, make money. And um, they uh, enjoy the uh, finer things in life, uh, just like uh, many uh, other people. Now, with uh, Gemini sitting on the uh, third house cusp, uh, Aries rising people have uh, very uh, articular, articulate ways of uh, communicating and expressing their ideas. Um, they're uh, actually very uh, highly intelligent people. Um, they are, are able to uh, learn concepts very quickly and uh, they have no difficulty expressing their uh, thoughts and ideas to um, other people and most notably uh, their siblings. Um, they're, it's easiest for them to uh, communicate their ideas to uh, brothers and sisters and uh, to those uh, who are very close around them. Now, with the Cancer sitting on the uh, fourth house cusp, Aries rising people um, are uh, very emotional when it comes to their uh, personal uh, home environment. Uh, they uh, have such regard for uh, their mother, and uh, quite often uh, Aries rising people like to um, explore their uh, ancestry. Uh, they would like to; they're very interested in, in their. Uh, maternal roots, uh, where their uh, ancestors came from, um, and um, yes, they uh, have uh, such high regard for uh, their uh, domestic uh, home environment. Uh, they, their emotions are very much attached to um, their domestic uh, sphere. Now with Leo rising, excuse me, with Leo resting on the uh, fifth house cusp, Aries rising people are basically the life of the party. Um, they uh, like to uh, shine in the uh, spotlight uh, whenever um, they're invite, invited to uh, any celebration. Um, quite often, um, they like to gamble. And um, for this reason, um, Aries rising people uh, have uh, this reputation for being... Uh, somewhat uh, fickle, I should say, but um, nevertheless, they uh, still know how to uh, have a lot of fun and uh, they really enjoy uh, sports. Um, they uh, really enjoy um, going out with uh, friends, uh, going out with their loved ones, going on uh, dates. Um, they can uh, have uh, several dates, um, and the and with the fifth house representing uh, children, um, Leo, uh, Aries rising people uh, uh, have such uh, high regard for their children that they also want them to uh, shine in the spotlight. And so, with uh, Virgo sitting on the uh, sixth house cusp. Uh, Aries rising people are quite uh, meticulous when it, it comes to uh, their own uh, personal health. Uh, they uh, love to take care of their bodies and um, they uh, have, uh, they're quite meticulous in their uh, job as well, since uh, the sixth house also represents uh, their job and the workplace and their, and their co workers. Um, they may uh, start a, a project uh, that they're very interested in at first. However, uh, as time, go, time goes on, they may eventually uh, lose interest in it. And uh, therefore, uh, 
their projects uh, sometimes never get uh, completed and uh, their projects uh, sometimes uh, go uh, get uh, passed down to other people to uh, have finished for them. And um, they're uh, quite uh, strict when it comes to uh, working out. Um, I can't uh, think of any uh, Aries rising people who are uh, severely overweight. Um, they're uh, quite uh, phys physically active people. And um, yeah, that's that. And with Libra sitting on the uh, seventh house cusp, um, Aries rising uh, people love uh, to attract uh, those who are uh, sweet and gentle and kind and attractive and have uh, pleasant manners. And um, Aries rising people uh, find their uh, sense of justice and fair play uh, when it comes to um, their relationships. If uh, they see that their uh, better half is uh, being um, assaulted or um, abused, uh, or if they are facing any kind of a injustice, uh, the Aries rising individual will rush in like a warrior and uh, stand up for them and uh, fight for their rights and uh, just set the record straight. Uh, who's right? Um, you, you know, um, they will just uh, tell the other uh, parties to, uh, you know, leave my uh, husband or wife alone. Uh, you have no right to uh, interfere in uh, our uh, personal matters. And um, they, that's where they uh, get their uh, sense of uh, justice from, um, watching out for their uh, partners. And um, with Scorpio sitting on the eighth house cusp, Aries uh, rising uh, people um, are quite uh, secretive when it comes to their uh, personal finances, um, their um, joint finances. Um, they don't like to uh, disclose um, their uh, personal details uh, about their own money to um, anybody else, uh, not even their partners. And um, sometimes uh, this uh, intensity can uh, interfere in the relationship. Um, they uh, may uh, guard their uh, financial details so much that um, they uh, will absolutely refuse to tell their other partner. And uh, with um, the eighth house uh, representing uh, sexual intimacy, um, they gain a, a lot of uh, pleasure out of um, the emotional bond that um, that creates as well. So, um, yeah. And uh, with Sagittarius on the ninth house cusp, um, Aries rising people uh, actually have a, a very uh, high regard for uh, religion or uh, philosophical matters. Um, they will uh, put uh, an enormous drive on uh, seeking the uh, ultimate truth. And um, with that uh, Martian energy uh, sitting on the uh, f first house cusp or the ascendant, they'll uh, fight for uh, any uh, truth that they believe in. And uh, with uh, Jupiter uh, ruling Sagittarius, they'll uh, go to great lengths to um, explore uh, new knowledge, to uh, seek out new uh, truths, uh, to uh, learn as much as they can. And uh, they're also quite uh, fond of travel, so you'll uh, find that they uh, are quite uh, fond of uh, traveling to uh, new and distant lands, learning about other cultures, learning about other uh, people, how they live, how they work, and uh, so forth. Now, with Capricorn sitting on the uh, 10th house cusp, Aries uh, rising uh, people are quite uh, serious and determined, 
uh, when it comes to uh, matters of the uh, career and uh, professional success. Um, they uh, will go to uh, great lengths to uh, ensure that uh, they are disciplined enough to um, get ahead in uh, any uh, profession or field that they uh, choose. And um, sometimes they can uh, get impatient when um, they feel they're not uh, being promoted uh, quickly enough. And uh, it's all again due to the um, Martian energy of uh, Aries. So um, it's important for them to um, develop more discipline and they'll uh, be able to get uh, ahead in uh, any uh, profession that they, that they uh, choose, that they pursue. Now, with Aries sitting on the 11th house cusp, uh, excuse me, Aquarius sitting on the 11th house cusp, sorry, um, Aries rising uh, people are quite uh, individualistic in um, social groups, yet uh, they uh, have uh, the ability to, tra to attract uh, many uh, new friends, uh, many diverse friends, and um, they're, they are actually quite uh, humanitarian when it comes to uh, friendships. Um, they uh, respect uh, people of all uh, religions, uh, races, uh, and uh, creeds, and beliefs, and um, they uh, have uh, such a humanitarian bent on uh, assisting um, other uh, group associations. Um, they, um, yet um, they uh, have such an individual streak that uh, they never um, completely uh, give up their individuality for the uh, sake of uh, the whole, for the whole group. And um, last but not least, with Pisces sitting on the uh, 12th house cusp, with um, Aries being such a, a strong and robust sign, um, p other people do not realize that uh, Aries rising people can actually be very uh, sensitive and uh, compassionate to uh, the less fortunate. And uh, the, with the 12th house uh, representing uh, the spirituality and um, the unconscious mind and the karmic the uh, karmic lessons that one has to learn during their lifetime. Um, Aries rising people uh, need to learn uh, to be more uh, forgiving, more uh, compassionate to um, the less fortunate. Um, they uh, have to realize that uh, they are not just uh, the center of the entire universe and that they're uh, actually a part of the uh, whole collective of the universe and um, yes, they uh, need to understand um, the uh, viewpoints of other people and um, yes, just uh, be uh, more caring and uh, considerate to um, everyone. Celebrities born with Aries rising include Barbara Streisand, Bette Midler, Heath Ledger, uh, Shakira, Rihanna, and uh, Alexander the Great. The uh, tarot card uh, that best represents uh, Aries' uh, energy is that of the uh, Emperor. Um, Aries rising uh, individuals um, love to be uh, the leader in uh, any group. Uh, they're very uh, individualistic. They're very fiery. And um, much uh, like the uh, em Emperor here, they uh, love to be uh, first. As you can see here, uh, the uh, Emperor has a very uh, stern look. Um, he looks quite menacing. And um, Aries rising uh, people um, can uh, appear menacing to other people, uh, which is why they uh, can be uh, somewhat intimidating. But as I've mentioned, I like to keep stressing that uh, it's just um, 
how they present themselves to uh, the uh, outside world. Of course, it uh, also depends upon uh, where uh, the planets are placed in uh, the astrological chart, how they're aspected, and uh, where uh, the sun in particular is uh, located. Um, if uh, their sun was placed in uh, Pisces, they'll uh, be, uh, they'll come across more gentle, or uh, if uh, their sun was placed in uh, Cancer, they'll come across as more um, uh, emotional. But um, the uh, Emperor Tarot card right here, this uh, is the um, typical uh, illustration of the uh, typical uh, Aries rising individual, very bold, um, loves to be in charge. And as you can see here, um, there are um, carvings of the ram on uh, each uh, of uh, on each side of his throne. The ram, of course, uh, symbolizing uh, Aries. So to summarize, uh, Aries rising uh, people are uh, basically uh, very uh, headstrong, very courageous, very bold, and um, they uh, have the uh, warrior spirit and. Um, they're, uh, they're uh, very outgoing and they love to be the life of the party. And um, if they can um, develop more uh, compassion and understanding to uh, other people, they will uh, really uh, shine in the world. So this has been my uh, take on the uh, Aries Rising uh, personality. I uh, hope that you were satisfied with the uh, level of uh, explanation presented to you. Please like, comment, and uh, subscribe to my uh, channel. My name is Sean Vandeveen, and uh, I do want to uh, thank you for watching. Um, take care of yourself. Uh, be kind to one another. God bless you. And I'll just uh, close by saying uh, peace, much love, and uh, namaste. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.